हेलो एवरीवन वी आर वाचिंग फिजिक्स क्लास वेलकम टू आवर सेशन इन टुडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस यू अबाउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ चार्जेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ चार्जेस इन ए कंडक्टर इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस कंटाइंट इन ए मटेरियल और अ मैटर and its distribution is depends on the shapes of the different matter or materials if you have that matter as a point then charge is in the form of point okay if we have a wire like this a linear wire the point the charges will be distributed in this line if we have a metal sheet we consider the metal sheet the charge is fully distributed in the metal sheet it is a sheet of metal charge okay so basically the distribution of charges in a conductor depends on the shape of that conductor okay the distribution of charges in the conductor depends on the shape of the conductor here we can consider two conducting spheres metallic spheres consider this as a metallic sphere a it has the radius r1 another metallic sphere b it has the radius r2 now we can connect these two metallic sphere by means of a conducting wire this is a connecting wire it is a conductor we know that if any metal or any conductor considered the charges will be distributed on its surface on its surface inside the conductor it is zero so the at the surface the charges will be distributed okay here we can make sure that the distance between these two spheres much greater than the radius okay the distance between these two spheres much greater than the radius of the spheres now we can introduce the charges to the sphere let us say q q be the charge introduced in any one of the sphere in any one of the sphere when you introduce the charge in any one of the sphere this charge will get redistributed in both the spheres okay when you introduce a charge to any one of the sphere that charge will be redistributed into the both the spheres such that the potential is same in both the spheres okay when you introduce a charge q here q1 amount of charge will be distributed in this sphere and q2 amount of charge will be distributed in this sphere because we are connecting both the sphere by means of a conducting wire so q1 amount of charge will be distributed here and the remaining q2 will be transferred to this that is the remaining charges from the capital q that will be transferred through this conducting wire to this metallic sphere b so how much the how long this uh, transfer occurs till both the spheres attains same potential same potential are you able to understand so when you introduce the charge q in any one of the sphere the charge will be redistributed because both the spheres are connected by means of a conducting wire how long the redistribution occurs it occurs till the electrostatic potential is same at both the 
spheres. Okay. So we can say here the charges are uniformly distributed and it attains equilibrium. Now we can consider Q1 be the charge on the surface of the sphere A. Q2 be the charge on the surface of the sphere B. Now we can write the total charge Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. Q1 plus Q2. So already I said the charges are, suppose if you are considering the positive charges means the charges are distributed on the surface of the sphere. There is no net charge inside the conductor. Okay. And here we have to understand one more point. Suppose the potential of the sphere A is greater than the potential of the sphere B. Then the charge will flow from, the positive charges will flow from A to B. Suppose if the potential V B, potential at the sphere B is greater than A, then the charges will transfer from B to A. So this will occur until both the spheres attain same potential. We know that always the flow is from higher potential to the lower potential. Even it is a water or charges, the flow is from always higher potential to the greater potential. So based on the potential on the sphere, the charges will be transferred. Are you able to follow my class? So I said the positive charges will be moving from A to B when Potential of gate A is greater than potential of B. So, at that time, the electric charges may move in the opposite direction. Uh, electrons. Electrons may move in the opposite direction. When the potential of B is greater than VA, the positive charges will move from B to A. That time, the electron will move from A to B. That also you have to keep it in mind. Now, let us write the potential value. Electrostatic potential at the surface of the sphere A. Okay, electrostatic potential at the surface of the sphere A is given by, what's the formula for potential? You may have learned in the previous classes, V is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon 0 R, isn't it? So here the charge is considered as Q1. So Q1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 R1. Say equation 1. Similarly, we can write the electrostatic potential at B. Electrostatic potential. At the surface B. The sphere B is given by VB. VB equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q2 by R2. Say equation 2. I said when we distribute these charges to any one of the sphere, the charges will be redistributed and there is a equipotential state occurs. So, surface of the conductor is an equipotential. Now, the point is surface of the conductor is an equipotential. Because of connecting wire, we can say the surface of both the spheres are together to form a equipotential surface. Okay. We are connecting two wires. So, we can say the surface of both the spheres together to form a equipotential surface. So, mathematically we can equate both the potential. V A is equal to V B. So, when we substitute the 
value 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 by r1 equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q2 by r2. 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 get cancelled. q1 by r1 equal to q2 by r2. Now we can discuss this term in form of charge density. You may have learnt about charge density. Charge density sig uh, symbol is sigma. What is meant by charge density? Charge per area. Charge per area. So here the charge density on the surface of the sphere A is taken as sigma 1. For A, the charge density is taken, taken as sigma 1. For the surface of the sphere B, the charge density is taken as sigma 2. Charge density means charge per area. The accumulation of charges on the surface based on the area. So that we can write in the form. That is sigma 1 equal to q1 by a1. Sigma 2 equal to q2 by a2. So we have the formula q1 and q2. So we can rewrite this expression in terms of q1 and q2. This equation can be written as q1 equal to sigma 1 a1. This equation can be written as q2 equal to sigma 2 a2. Okay. Now sigma 1 a1 can be written as sigma 1 into area of the sphere. What is the formula for area of the sphere? 4 pi r square. Am I right? So I can write 4 pi r1 square. Sigma 2 a2. I am sorry. This is for. Okay. All right. Sigma 2 a2 equal to sigma 2 into 4 pi r2 square. Okay, this is for sphere A, this is for sphere B. A1 is the area of sphere A, A2 is the area of sphere B. So, this is the value of Q1 and Q2. Now, we can substitute this Q1 and Q2 in the equation 3. Substitute these values in equation 3. That is Q1 by R1 equal to Q2 by R2. What we will be getting? That is sigma 1 4 pi r1 square divided by r1 equal to sigma 2 4 pi r2 square divided by r2. So sigma 1 sorry 4 pi 4 pi get cancelled r1 r1 square get cancelled r2 r2 square 1 r2 get cancelled. So, what is the remaining terms? Yes. Sigma 1 R1 equal to Sigma 2 R2. Let us consider this as equation number 4. Sigma 1 R1 equal to Sigma 2 R2. From this we can conclude that Sigma 3 R3 equal to Sigma 4 R4 such a way. So, I can write Sigma into R equal to constant sigma into r equal to constant from this we can write sigma is equal to constant by r isn't it sigma equal to constant by r also we can say sigma is proportional to 1 by r sigma is proportional to 1 by r what can you understand from this expression surface charge density is Inversely proportional to the radius of the sphere. Surface charge density is inversely proportional to the radius of the sphere. For smaller radius, the charge density will be more, larger. Or for greater radius, the charge density will be smaller because inversely proportional. Are you able to understand? Surface charge density sigma is inversely proportional to the radius of the sphere, for smaller the radius, charge density will be more or larger 
or greater the radius, the charge density will be less or smaller. So this is what we are explaining in distribution of charges. That is, the distribution of charges in conductor depends on the shape of the conductor. For sharper edge, the surface charge density is greater. Okay. Surf, sharper edge, the surface charge density is greater. That means the radius will be smaller for sharper edge. So we can conclude that surface charge density is inversely proportional to the radius of the sphere. So distribution of charges in a conductor. I hope you have understood this concept and learned the formulas everything. Alright friends, the next one problem is given in your book 1.23. This solved in your book. Try to uh, do that problem. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the interactive section. Now, the next topic is action at points. Action at points. Or else we can say the another name. Corona discharge. Corona discharge. Actually we are expecting in this at present the corona has to discharge from our world, isn't it? Okay. Let us discuss this. Action at points or corona discharge. What is explained here? Here we can consider charged conductor. Okay. One charged conductor which is in an irregular shape. Not a regular shape. Let us in the form of like this. Okay. If it is a charged conductor we know that it consists of positive charge as well as the negative charges. Isn't it? Positive charge and negative charges. Negative charges in the sense we will be saying it is free electrons. And when we associate this concept with the previous concept, previously we have learned the surface charge density is inversely proportional to the inversely proportional to the radius of the sphere. Isn't it? So here also we can have that same point. If you consider this kind of shape, this side has the smaller radius of curvature. Isn't it? And this side has the larger radius of curvature. So as per the previous concept, if there is a smaller radius of curvature, the accumulation of charge is more. The charge density will be more. If the radius is very small, the charge density will be more. So we can say here more amount of positive charges will be accumulated. And here the charges accumulation is less in this side. Because here the radius of curvature is greater. The radius of curvature is larger. So the charge density is less. The charge accumulation is less. Here more accumulation of charges. Now, we can assure that the electric field around this conductor, in this side, the electric field is very high, isn't it, than this side, because it has more accumulation of charge. So, the electric field near the edge is very high and it ionizes the Surrounding air molecules. Here full of air molecules. Isn't it? Outside. Full of air molecules. So because of high electric field. It tries to ionize the air molecules. What is meant by ionization? It just to separate the molecules into positive and negative ions. Positive and negative ions. So the process of ionization takes place.
the process of ionization takes place that means it ionizes the surrounding air molecules so the air molecules get separated into positive negative positive negative here more positive charges are there so this positive charges will repel this positive charge the positive ions are repelled at this edge and the negative ions will be attracted towards the sharper edge isn't it can you able to understand the electric field will be acting here this is the direction okay direction of the electric field so here the electric field is more we have to draw more electric field lines because more charges are accumulated so because of high electric field the surrounding air molecules get ionized ionized in the sense positive and negative ions are separated so we know that like charges repel each other unlike charges attracts each other in that manner these positive charges will be repelled from this sharp edge so it will be going out it will be going out and the negative charges will be attracted towards this edge so what will happen to the total charge here yes the total charge will be reduced total charge will be reduced so this reduction of charges we can consider as action at points action at point that means the leakage of charges the charges get reduced or the leakage of charges at the sharp edge of the conductor is known as action at points or corona discharge are you able to understand the concept we have considered the irregular shape of a conductor already we have seen that depending upon the shape of the conductor the charges will be distributed so here we have seen an irregular shape of conductor one side the radius of curvature is that is the radius is very small the other side the radius is very high since the charge density is inversely proportional to the radius this side more accumulation of charges there and this end the accumulation of charges is less less amount of charges so because of more charge density the electric field near this edge this we can consider as a sharp edge here the electric field is very high comparatively this side i have drawn the line this line shows the electric field okay here based on the charges electric field will act this side more electric field will be present so because of high electric field the surrounding air molecule get ionized and ions are separated positive and negative ions so at this sharp edge this positive ions will be repelled repelled from the sharp edge that means it will be move away from this it will be coming out and the negative will be attracted towards this sharp edge okay negative will be coming inside positive will be repelled out repelled out so total charge gets reduced at this point so electric field is high high electric field ionization occur high electric field ionization occurs as well as total charge get reduced total charge get reduced so this reduction of charges or leakage of charges near the edge is known as action at points or corona discharge i hope you have understood so we can have the definition what is mean by action at points or corona discharge that is the leakage of charges the leakage of charges around the sharp edges of the conductor sharp edges of the conductor is known as action at points 
action at two points. At two points in the sense sharp pitch. On corona discharge. So this is the definition of corona discharge or action at points. Very important short answer. So I hope you have understood today's class. Today we have discussed about two topics. Distribution of charges in a conductor as well as action at points or corona discharge. Okay, students. Study well. Thank you.